This looks like another case of people falling for a baby wild animal. Oh, it's so cute. Let's take it home as a pet. Bad idea. Always a bad idea. And in this case, the baby grows up to be a large spiny ball that can cause major hurt. So as always, appreciate wildlife in the wild. Even as a baby, this little guy is quite agile and that prehensile tail looks very functional. Unlike its northern cousin of temperate forest, the Mexican hairy porcupine has been little studied. There are 10 species of porcupines in the New World and another 11 species in the Old World. Remember, they are rodents. So adorable. As an adult, its body is covered with yellow, spine-like quills and is not so adorable. Its prehensile tail acts as a balancing pole, as well as another hand. Its claws are well suited for climbing and running along a cabled walkway across a river. That's a very useful tool in the forest. The Mexican hairy porcupine occurs from the Veracruz area of Mexico to western Panama but does not occur in southwestern Costa Rica, including the Osa Peninsula. This solitary, nocturnal, thorny creature feeds on fruits, leaves, seeds, and flowers, mostly in the middle levels of the forest. In one study, 80% of the time budget was focused on fruits and seeds, while 20% was spent on leaves. Howler monkeys eat mostly leaves, while spider monkeys feed mostly on fruit. As a comparison, those sharp incisors rip into the fruit and crush the seeds. So it's really not a seed disperser. Figs and cecropias are favorite food sources. It likes the younger leaves that have more protein and less fiber and toxins. Instead of a thumb on its hind foot, it has a movable pad and this, coupled with the prehensile tail, makes it a great climber. The quills certainly make it a unique animal. They are actually quite different than the quills of the African porcupine. If the porcupine senses a threat, the quills are pointed outwards, which presents a prickly proposition to the intruder. They cannot, however, be thrown at the threat. Besides, the quills have backward protruding scales that cause them to work their way into the flesh of any foolish predator that tries to bite it. The quills move into the flesh at about one millimeter per hour. This provides a vivid memory for any future encounters. Nonetheless, dogs and pumas can be found with mouthfuls of porcupine spines. It's assumed these were first-time offenders.